So, baby season is coming up quick, and I just wanted to show you, starting to show just a little bit of a baby bump. You see that little bump? Mink don't typically get big and huge. I mean, some females do, but a lot of times they don't get big and huge because in nature, they've still got to go down holes. So they need to keep a bit of a slender figure in order to hunt in the wild. But some of the females get a little bit of a bump there and you can see that they're starting to show. So we're hoping for a good sized litter and I'm pretty excited about it. But here's the interesting thing about mink is you never know exactly when they'll have their babies. With most mammals like dogs or horses, you could just count the days from when they were last bred. But with mink, they have what's called delayed implantation. With most mammals, as soon as the egg is fertilized, it travels from the ovaries down to the fallopian tubes to the uterus, where it attaches and begins to absorb nutrients from the mother. The nutrients it gets from its mother allows the embryo to continue to grow and develop. But mink have delayed implantation. So instead of attaching to the uterus wall right away like most mammals do, there is a delay where the egg stays suspended in the embryotic fluid and doesn't develop further until the mother's body decides its time is just right. How the time is determined is based on the hours of daylight the mother is exposed to. Because days get longer the closer we get to summer, being exposed to longer daylight hours causes the mother's mink's body to think that summer is getting near. When the number of hours gets just right, the egg attaches to the uterine wall and the egg continues its development. It only takes about five weeks for a mink embryo to develop, but thanks to delayed implantation, it may take anywhere from six weeks to 10 weeks for the baby mink to actually be born. So two doe mink can be bred on the exact same day and yet have their litters an entire month apart. Mink farmers sometimes use artificial light to get the doe mink to all have their babies at the same time. They simply leave lights on in the mink sheds for two hours after the sun goes down. This makes the mother mink's body think that the day is two hours longer than it really is. Their body then says, oh, summertime is already here, we better hurry up and have those babies. So all the little embryos attach themselves to the uterine wall and begin to develop with only a short delay rather than delaying their development for several weeks like what would normally happen. I also put lights on my mink this year, so that means that sometime between the 18th of April and maybe the 1st of May, we should start having some babies. Man, I just can't wait to have those cute little baby mink.